Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. So, director called you into his office this morning and said, hey, Tim has moved on to bigger and better, and you are now in charge of patch management for your network. Hey, good for you. Now, the other good thing is Tim had purchased PDQ Deploy Inventory before he left. What we at PDQ Deploy Inventory do best is save you time. We automate patch management. We automate mundane things for you so that you can work on bigger and better. So I'm going to take you through what I would do if I were to get Tim's version of PDQ Deploy and Inventory. Uh, I'm, it's going to be pretty brief. Now, the great thing is this. Every topic I hit is going to have a very detailed video that you can go to. And I'm going to build you a great playlist. It'll be attached to the end. And you'll be able to cherry pick what you need. So if it feels like we're going kind of fast, don't worry. I've got great videos for you. First thing I would do is check credentials. Tim's out. Has his password been disabled? Did he even use it? So as the credentials for doing your deployments, I'm going to go to Options, Credentials. There we go. This is Quintana, which is our service account. We don't have to worry about it. We're good to go here. And you're going to want to check deploy or inventory also. It's going to be in the same place. Options, again, credentials. The other place you're going to want to check is your background service. Ours matches the service account, which is great. So we are good to go. If you happen to find Tim, change your credentials. There's a great video on how to do it. It's very easy. The next thing I would do is let's take a look at what Tim's got set up because, you know, if things are running smooth, you don't want to mess that up. So the first place I would go is to schedules. Here is how you read a schedule line. And again, I'm going to have great videos for you on how to set up schedules, how to edit schedules. It'll be attached. Again, there'll be videos for everything here. So right now we've got a reboot script and that reboot, or excuse me, schedule, and it runs every day at 11 p.m. You know, I'm just going to double click on this. The nice thing, you can double click and open it up and see exactly what's going on. Triggers, the time it's going to run, targets, who it's going to run on. This is going to run on Beth, any machine that is part of the Uptime 14 collection and inventory. Let's just jump over real quick and see what that is. Here are your collections. If I go to Uptime 14, I've got 13 machines that have been running. And if I look at this, that would be greater than 14 days. So that makes sense. Uptime greater than 14. So these are the machines that are going to get that uh, deployment from that schedule. And then finally, the last thing you want to take a look at is what package is being deployed. And that's the reboot package. Okay, you would do this with all of your schedules and any of your schedules you have any questions about. Instead of deleting them, I would suggest you right click on them and just disable the schedule. Because at the very least, if something does go wrong, you can go back and say, you know, probably need to let that one run again. So that's your schedules. Okay, uh, let's also take a look at inventory. You know, inventory is more than just I've got this many computers and they have this much software on it. It's going to make your life simpler because you won't have to remember who's got Chrome. This will do it for you. Look at this collection library right here. We maintain this for you, again, to keep your lives simple. If you go to the Chrome Enterprise, you'll notice I've got 33 machines that have Chrome. Two have the latest version and 31 have the old version. Looking at this right, the first thought I have is, you know, I need to deploy the latest version to everybody in the old collection. Again, there's videos on how to do that. So back to, you'll see I've got Chrome, I've got Firefox. I do want to point out, you'll notice right here next to, we'll just say 7-zip because it's at the top, it's a package with an arrow on it. That arrow is an auto-deployment, excuse me, auto-download package, which means it's going to auto-download at a preset time that you set in your preferences, which the default right now is 7 days. So... When a new version of 7-Zip or Chrome or any of these that have that arrow on it, they'll automatically get downloaded seven days after the new version comes out. You don't have to worry about it. And the great thing is I've got a great auto-download um, video that explains how that works and how it works with schedules. Once you get it set up, it's a set up or a set it and forget it, and you will love it. Finally, a couple things I do want to point out you can do with, you know, inventory. Uh, auto reports, any of the reports that you need to run monthly for your boss or for accounting, you can set up to run monthly. The other thing that I want to point out, uh, you can build your own collections. Okay, so if I need to know how many machines have, you know, 
our proprietary software on it. I can build that package and, and this will go find that for you. Finally, uh, if you've got multiple administrators using Deploy and Inventory, you can set it up in Central Server and you'll notice right here, we're set up in Central Server. So if you're set up in Central Server, it's a great video breaking that down for you too. Just remember, PDQ Deploy and Inventory, their whole aim is to save you time and do the mundane for you. So if, you know, take a little time, see what's going on. And again, check the video list that I'll be uh, attaching to this. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.